at Travel Town, you can find all kinds of different types of trains. Some are very colorful, while some are black and white and gray. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Southern Pacific Boxcar number 30036. It was built in the 1930s. It weighs 22 tons and its length is 44 feet. It was donated to Travel Town in 1955 by the Southern Pacific Railroad. The transport of freight has always made the difference between profit and loss on railroads, although much of the romance of railroading arises from imagining the excitement and splendor and danger of traveling across the plains in a dusty coach. Today, there are few interurban railroads or trolley lines still operating, and Amtrak is the sole transcontinental passenger carrier. More than ever, freight is the lifeblood of railroads in the United States. During the boom years when a railroad came into a region, its availability devastated and eventually bankrupt most of the wagon and ferry boat businesses that had previously carried goods and persons in that area. In the 1920s, the railroad themselves began to lose business to new competitors. Trucks for freight, cars and buses for people. Asphalt and concrete replaced steel rail, especially on what had been short branch lines between small towns. Trucks, automobiles, and buses were cheaper for companies to operate and offered more convenience to their customers. Long hauls of freight became the most and nearly only profitable market for the railroads. This steel-framed, wood-sided boxcar, an antecedent of the modern all-steel boxcar, could carry anything from bags of grain to barrels of gunpowder to bolts of fabric. Other types of freight cars include refrigerator cars, stick cars, automobile carriers, flat cars, and piggyback cars, which carry truck trailers. If you are looking for the Southern Pacific boxcar number 30036, it is between the Union Pacific number 4439 and the Union Pacific Caboose number 2117. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, favor the video, share with your friends, and of course subscribe to the Travel Town series. Be sure to also check out Travel Town on the web at www.traveltown.org and follow them on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Travel Town Museum Foundation. All the links are down below in the description of this video. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Travel Town series, and we hope to see you again very, very soon. All aboard!